Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of MSP Fitness TV. Here in this video blog, I'm gonna be talking to you about the use of hook grip. First, what it is, why you might use hook grip versus standard grip or kind of alternating pronated supinated grip. And then also at the end, we'll show you how to tape your thumb to save your skin while hook gripping. First, what is hook grip? Well, hook grip just changes up that kind of normal pronated um, you know, overhand grip that you might use on any kind of lift. Maybe it's deadlift, maybe it's uh, like a clean or something like that. And with the hook grip, we start to first latching the thumb in and then fingers around, which I'll show you in a second. And that mainly, takes away the weakness of the forearms or of the hands. Conjure in your mind an image of someone performing a deadlift, and as the hand strength starts to go or as the forearms start to fatigue, you can just imagine them starting to hitch or maybe the back starts to round, which when we coach general population clients is something we never want to see. Let's go to the barbell and I'll show you the differences between the two and, and how to wrap your thumb around the bar performing that hook grip. So as you take a look at my hand here on the bar, conventional grip is just the fingers wrapped around and usually the thumb just kind of placed there on the index finger. When we hook grip, I want to see that thumb go around the bar first and then that index finger, but most importantly that middle finger latches around the thumbs as the index finger closes with the pinky and ring finger, kind of forming a solid hook on that bar so that if I were to pull, I not only have the strength of my hand, but also that latch formed by my, like I said, mainly index finger and middle finger wrapped around my thumb. Now that we've talked about what the hook grip is and how it differs from kind of your standard overhand pronated grip, let's look at a use case scenario. Um, I'm gonna typically say for Olympic weightlifters, kind of camp number one here, you're using hook grip almost exclusively. Snatches and cleans for not only heavy weights but also for speed, which is part of the, the name of the game. I, I'm gonna use hook grip all the time, okay? But for a much larger camp, kind of scenario two, our general population clients who we deal with here at MSP Fitness, hook grip um, can be an awesome Awesome thing to throw in if in most environments your deadlift is around body weight or a little bit plus. So an example would be you're a 145 pound female and your deadlift right now is kind of in that mid 120s, let's say for a set of five, I'm gonna have you using pronated grip almost exclusively. That is because when one uses hook grip, that latch effect takes away a little bit of the uh, prerequisite strength for the forearms. I don't want you to use hook grip all the time and end up developing a uh, kind of a, an unequal ratio of hand strength to leg strength. Now, once you get into, let's say, um, your 145 pound female and we're into a set of five deadlifts and it's rep number three of a set of five at 150 and the hands start to go equating to maybe a little bit of rounded back position, particularly on the eccentric or lowering portion of the lift, I'm gonna coach that athlete, let's start hooking on that next rep. Even if you're midway through a set, that's the beauty of hook grip is that I can just latch right in, establish that hook, and that can clean up my form for those final two reps in our scenario at 145. Let's cut to a video where I show you how to wrap your thumb with tape to save your skin and cuticles while hooking. On this cutaway, you'll see here I have a, just a general kind of roll of athletic tape. I'm going to peel off the half portion here, giving myself about 18 plus inches or so. That's a couple times around a large roll, and then just tear thusly. Um, now that I have my thumb, I'm gonna place it on the underside of my palm here with a bent knuckle, wrapping around, forming an X on the bottom side, the top of which comes and kind of starts the beginning of a figure eight. Covering my nail bed here, I'm gonna wrap around an X again, once again, keeping my knuckles somewhat bent. I want a little bit of blood flow and wiggle room in there once I'm all said and done with my tape job. Maintaining that figure eight coming back on that original pattern. I'm just going to trace where I've been before, sealing off and wrapping. I usually like that wrap job to finish on the back side of my hand so that when I'm touching that barbell, nothing ends up coming up during my lifts. There's a nice job of a hook grip. Let's see what it looks like on a barbell now. You'll see now that I grip that bar with that taped finger, I'm gonna put my index finger and middle finger around my thumb. It gives me a little bit of something textured that tape does to grab onto. And as I finish the grip with pinky and ring finger, you'll see that that taped finger keeps my skin a little bit safe from the knurling of the bar. And once again, finishes that hook grip nicely. Well gang, there you have it. Um, clearly, a little bit of a how-to video on wrapping your finger and applying the hook grip. Hopefully it's been a wealth of knowledge for you. If you have questions, do reach out to us. Comments down below the video. We, uh, we have many more videos like this on our YouTube channel. Please feel free to check them out. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Check out mspfitness.com for more information.